Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is Mr David Nicholson, the Scottish Church's Disability Agenda Group. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for allowing me to share time for reflection. I want to share with you a story of which I took, although I don't remember, recall it, but took part in it. I had come home on summer holiday from the Royal Blind School in Edinburgh and was told that a lady a few doors down from where we lived had lost her husband by death. I appear to have had no response to this, but must have resolved <clears throat> the following day to go and visit her. But what had a seven-year-old to say to a grieving widow? Clearly, I made the visit, and when my mother found me, I was sitting resplendent in the armchair, drinking tea and tucking in to homemade fruitcake. Last Sunday wasn't just St Andrew's Day, but the first Sunday in Advent, when we think of celebrating Christmas. And Advent is a time for doing that, when we're thinking of wrapping presents, finding cars for friends and for family, and how we are going to plan and celebrate the Christmas Day itself. But some people in our community, perhaps one of your constituents, or a friend, or a member of your family, will have been gone through hell on earth during the year. The death of a loved one, the breakup of a marriage, or a partnership. I think of the angel's song to the shepherds, who brought good news of, of joy to all people, and perhaps we might give a thought to all people, regardless of colour, background, faith, or even none. If we plan to enjoy our Christmas, and I hope we do, have a happy one. But perhaps, too, we can stretch out a hand, a hand of friendship, or even a small gesture that will make someone's Christmas that little brighter a card to say thinking of you, or if you are very brave, ring the doorbell and go in. Presiding officer, can I return to my story? I was told by my mother that the, that the visitor, the lady I visited, had spoken on many occasions to her family and friends and told them that it had been a turning point in her life. Thank you. The next item of business is a statement by John Swinney on the Smith Commission. The Deputy First Minister will take questions at the end of his statement and there should therefore be no interventions or interruptions. I call on the Deputy First Minister. Around 15 minutes, Deputy First Minister. President, the Scottish Government believes that decisions